Hi friends, in this video, I am going to explain the types of account. Basically, there are two types of account. First one is personal account and second one is impersonal account. Personal account includes all accounts of individual firms, persons, body of association, institutions, etc. For example, Ramesh account, Lakshmi account, Sachin account, Bank of India account, Jainet company account, University of Pune account, Tata Motors account, Reliance company account, etc. These all are the example of personal account. For students, you have to keep in mind that personal account includes all accounts of individual person as well as artificial person created by the law. Individual person means natural persons. An artificial person created by law, examples of this are firms, companies, institutions, etc. These are known as artificial person because they can carry out transactions on their names. For example, Bank of India can receive the cash, can pay the cash. It can make agreement with any firm on its own. That is Therefore, these types of firms or institutions or companies are known as artificial person created by the law. So, in case of personal account, you have to memorize that it includes accounts of persons, firms, shops, companies, associations, body of associations, etc. Okay. Second type is impersonal account. Impersonal account includes two types of account. First one is real account and second one is nominal account. Real account includes all accounts of assets and properties of the business. Real account includes all accounts of assets and properties of the business. For example, building account, machinery account, furniture account, land account, goodwill account, patent account, copyright account, trademark account, etc. These are the example of real account. Okay. In case of real account, you have to keep in mind that it includes all accounts related to the assets or the possessions held by the business. You can memorize these examples of real account that is building, machinery, furniture. So you can get idea about the real account. So this, uh, this is about the real account. Second type in impersonal account is nominal account. Nominal account includes expenses and losses and incomes and gains. This is a simple trick to uh, remember what includes in nominal account. So nominal account includes expenses and losses and incomes and gains. For example, salary account, wages account, rent account, commission account. So these are the example of nominal account. Okay, so now you have get, got the idea about the types of account. These are the two types. Uh, in order to uh, memorize in simple words, you can keep in mind that there are three types of account. Personal account, real account and nominal account. Okay, so you can keep in mind in this way as well. So. While recording a business transactions, we need to recognize the account involved in that transaction. Okay. While recording a business transaction, you have to first recognize the involved account and apply the rule for recording it and record the transactions. For recording a business transactions, you need to debit one aspect and credit one aspect in that transaction. For this, you should have idea about the rules which are applicable for debiting and crediting. So these are the rules which are applicable for recording a business transaction. These rules are different for different types of account. It means in case of personal account, there is a different rule. In case of real account, there is a different rule. And in case of nominal account, there is a different rule. As you have got idea about the types of account, now you can learn the rule, these rules easily. So first type of account is personal account. 
and rule for personal account is debit the receiver credit the giver it means in case of personal account if the person is receiver of the benefit his account should be debited i repeat in case of personal account e that person is receiver of the benefit in that case his account should be debited and e the person is giver of the benefit his account should be credited this is the simple rule and you can relate this rule to the personal account as you know that in personal account there are accounts of individual persons firms companies etc so in that case person or firm can be the receiver of the benefit or can be the giver of the benefit so you can easily apply this rule that debit the receiver and credit the giver second type of account is real account rule for real account is debit what comes in credit what goes out now look at the real account real account includes all accounts of assets and possessions held by the firm it includes accounts of assets and possessions held by the firm it means building machinery furniture etc for these assets what is the rule debit what comes in and credit what goes out it means if asset is coming in our business we should debit that asset and if asset is going out from our business we should credit that asset for example if there is a transaction that purchased machinery for rupees 10000 okay purchased machinery for rupees 10000 in in this transaction there are two accounts first one is machinery account and second one is cash account so the cash account is also type of real account so in this transaction there are two accounts machinery account and cash account both are the real account and you can apply this rule to record the business transaction rule is debit what comes in if we purchase purchase the machinery that is machinery is coming in the business in that case you can debit the machinery account and credit what goes out for purchasing a machinery we are paying cash it means cash is going out for this transaction machinery account will be debited and cash account will be credited so you can apply this rule for all assets and possessions that debit what comes in credit what goes out third type of account is nominal account rule for nominal account is debit expenses and losses credit income and gains it means in case of nominal account you can debit all expenses and losses and credit income and gains as you know that nominal account includes all account of expenses and losses and income and gains it is very simple to relate this rule for nominal account you have to debit all kinds of expenses and losses and credit all kinds of incomes and gains this rule are considered as the golden rules of accounting without knowing this rules you can't record any business transaction in the books books of account so in this video we learn the various types of account so mainly there are two types personal account in personal account but in simple word you can keep in mind that there are three types personal account real account and nominal account these are the types of account and for recording a business transaction we have to debit one aspect and credit one aspect for this purpose we should know the rules what are the rules for recording a business transaction so these are the rule for every account for personal account debit the receiver credit the giver for real account debit what comes in credit what goes out and for nominal account debit expenses and losses credit incomes and gains thank you thanks to